Good morning. Blue Jays Day. Yeah. Now, I think you're going to have to take my word for it. There's a bird at the bird feeder, and it's a nice day outside. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I've got some Model Master primer here. I bought this, I, I guess I bought this way back when I was getting supplies ready for to get the Bismarck. So th th these are just over three years old, but I think they're still good. I don't think I have even opened these. Now, do I want to frustrate myself and try and put this primer on? Or do I just want to go ahead and just paint this the same way I did the hood and probably be happy with it? Because uh, I, I don't uh, take maybe this build as serious as I should, like as far as keeping things uh, authentic, authentic. Uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I can't say it, but I know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, how did we get to this place? Maybe should we just watch the rollback and then we'll continue on. Oh, by the way, the spider went to spider heaven last night, I believe. That is, if it was a good spider, it went to heaven. <laughs> or whatever your superstition you uh, kind of adhere to goes. <laughs> Maybe I should reshoot this. I, I didn't mean to offend anybody, but uh, I probably did. Uh, yeah. If, if, if I think of it later, maybe I'll slip on the macro lens uh, uh, and we'll have a close look at it and see how many eyes can we see. Now it could be because it's passed on, it's closed its eyes. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's 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 roll back and just see how did we get to this place. Okay. This was not the right primer to use. I don't know if you noticed, but when I was spraying in the backyard there, uh, the, the, the mist was sort of just billowing out. It was, it was uh, instead of going on straight onto the side of the ship, well, mind you, a lot of it was, but a lot of it was sort of misting out. In fact, it was, I was noticing in the video, it was sort of drifting towards the, towards the camera. Uh, the only good thing about it is that mist would would have dried before it actually hit anything. It wouldn't it wouldn't hurt the front of my lens, which which has a uh, one of those uh, protective clear filters on it anyway. Uh, but uh, that's that's not the point. I was using the wrong stuff. I should have used the same one that I used uh, back when I did the Bismarck. Now. Why did I make this rotisserie so long? I can't remember why I made it as long as it is. It's, it's, it's probably about uh, almost two feet too long. Uh, but I, for, I guess at the time, I, it, it, there was a reason for it, but I can't remember what it was. Anyway, to get, to get it to fit on the model table without cutting it down, and I just don't feel like doing it, I, I think I can do it like this, and we'll just sort of do a dry run here, and, and we'll try not to knock over my coffee. All right. All right, now, I think that maybe what I'll be doing here is I will be maybe extending out the, the sides of the spray booth just a little bit to, to help keep the the spray in this area because it does get drawn in through the through the filters but if if I start and I, I spray here like this I, I can get I can get from the front to about here and then I should be able to move everything down like so if I can get around all these cords okay and do do this area here and then move it down the, the rest of the way. Just watch I don't drop it off the end of the model table. 
then I can get I can get the stirring, and then flip it over 90 degrees or I guess uh, 180 degrees, and and uh, do the do the other side. Now the plan is just to to paint where the boot line is going to go, and and it's the boot line is going to go on this what you might call panel right here. Okay, so if I just start out in the right place and. I shouldn't have to mark it. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. Anyway, I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it yet this evening or not. It's, uh, what do we got here? It's, all, it's almost 7 p.m. Uh, I think I, I think I might be wise to, to leave this for the morning. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I had really thought that this uh, primer was going to work out okay today, but it, it could be if I had have gone out earlier in the morning before the wind got up, but it just seemed that there were the well you you heard it in the microphone on the camera so uh, and you probably saw it blowing around out there too so it just it just didn't work out but as I've said before i I don't think I primed the the hull on the hood and uh, the paint did not fall off. Uh, in fact, actually, I think I did a better job on the hull on the hood than I did on the Bismarck. I think on the Bismarck I put it on, I, it was almost caked on in some places. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks good in the case though. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's close her down here and uh, uh, yeah, I think I better wait for the morning. So <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and uh, you may remember having heard me say that I wanted to try and uh, sh shroud this off. Well, first of all, there, there's a piece of glass on the top of the of the uh, box here, and th this hole here is just to let light through. I don't know if you remember back over three years ago now when we made this thing. I think I mentioned that, but anyway, what I want to do now is, this is just, it's only going to help. And uh, it doesn't have to be airtight, although it would be nice. Okay, it just has to sort of stick there. I'm going to put one on the other side the same way. Uh, this is uh, just card card from uh, a pizza box, and it is like I say, it's it's just going to help. That's all. That way, the the mist is going to have less of a chance to come this way, and it'll get sucked into our fan. All all being well. Okay, let's uh, go to the other side now. If I can find another piece of cardboard. Pizza! Okay, enough nonsense here. Okay, let's go plug in the air hose. Now I was not up real early this morning, but I guess you might say it's early for somebody who has the privilege of sleeping in late if they want to. Anyway, first thing I do is I check the surveillance monitor. No carrots. Not even any remnants of there ever being carrots there. Sometimes you see a little nibble laying around, but nope, nothing. 
Anyway, at 6.37, I put out fresh carrots. Eleven minutes later, we had our first visitor. Yeah, this is one of the, uh, used to be a baby rabbit. That's, uh, I guess you might call it a juvenile now. <laughs> it's a teenager. Yeah. This is the third time now that I've wiped down this hull. But I want it, I want it to uh, be particularly grease-free along this, where we're going to put the boot line, because when I remove the tape, if the, if the paint is not sticking to the plastic, or, or on this particular side, there, there, is, there is primer, okay, the, when I pull the tape away, it could also remove the black paint. So, uh, okay, we'll just uh, let that dry for a moment and uh, keep on setting up here. Guess I should do the other side too, right? Okay, I did shake this up in the paint shaker. And I did add a little bit of the... Uh, paint retarder. Now I think we may have thinned this out before. I'm hoping that it's not going to be lumpy. And uh, we're just going to have to see how it goes. I, I know that uh, normally we're a little closer in, but uh, we're just going to have it the way it is and hope you can see what's going on. Oh, I don't know, maybe Maybe that should have been thinned out a little bit more. Well, let's let's see if this is going to spray. I, I don't know. I, I thought it, it sounded like it was pretty thin, but uh, let's just give it a whirl here. I got I got the pressure set at about twenty pounds. We'll increase it a bit here. Okay, we're going to have to press stop. I'm going to have to pour it back. I'm going to have to clean the airbrush. I'm going to gonna have to thin this down some more. I guess I should have checked it. it. I thought it was thinned out, but I guess it wasn't. Okay, we are thinned out with uh, isopropyl alcohol here. And... Uh, yeah, that looks better. Now, Here we go. Okay, we're going to want to paint this 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 panel right here.
Uh oh. It slipped off the rotisserie. Well, I'm going to have to press stop here. Now I've got a bit of a problem because all right, because I turned it end for end uh, it's, it's not matching up with the front of this anymore and the rotisserie is going to fall off the end of the table so I'm going to have to push stop again and make some changes. Okay I realize you probably can't see it too good but the, the other end is propped up on a uh, camera tripod. <laughs> It's actually off the end of the table. There's not a whole lot we can do here until that boot line dries. Don't want to be putting tape over top of uh, wet paint. So maybe this evening, maybe not till tomorrow morning. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm going to uh, wrap today's episode up. Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.